V2 technique utilizes both a pulling motion and skating motion on each stride. This creates more power and acceleration capabilities. It's a versatile technique that can be used on all types of terrain. I remember learning V2 on cross country skis thinking, why do I want to work so hard to go so slow? But give it time, your technique will improve as mine did. It's a very important technique to learn because once you become efficient with it, you'll use it more than V1 or open field. The key to good V2 form starts with good body position and balance on your skis. Really commit your full weight over each ski. Don't sort of commit and hang out in the middle. Try not to initiate the skating motion on your inside edges or wheels. Concentrate on initiating the motion by engaging your core and transferring your weight. Your goal should be to ride as flat a ski as possible. Check the wear on your roller ski wheels, they can tell you a lot. If one side of your wheel is worn more than the other, you need to work on riding a flatter ski. Riding a flat ski ultimately results in a faster glide and a stable platform to launch a strong pulling motion. The pulling motion should be very symmetrical. Pulls, arms, and hands all need to be shoulder width apart with your torso squared to the direction of travel. Think about hanging the picture frame position we talked about in the open field video. Roller skiing is the perfect time to practice your V2. The terrain is much more predictable than snow, helping with your balance and long straight stretches of road allow you to get in a good rhythm. So get balanced and roam wild.